Hi everyone, I'm Elad, I'm a CSS HTML architect and code evangelist at Animap. Besides this, I love CSS and I'm writing lots of articles on CSS that you can find in this link at medium.com. And I'm a community leader at CSS Class in Facebook and LinkedIn. And we are here to talk about the common values that we have in all the properties of CSS. The inherit, the initial, and the unset value. Uh, these properties are kind of CSS reset that we can reset those properties. Let's begin with the first one, the inherit value. The inherit value, like his name, can, can do for us inherited in CSS. Uh, in this example, in the div with the class of box, I gave it the border, background color, width, height, and margin. This is the box. For the inner element, I use the width, height, margin, background color, and the border with the keyword of inherit. This way, I inherit all the styles for the parent box. We don't really use it in real life, but if we need, we can. And the second value, here's something here getting a little bit more complicated, the initial value. The initial value, uh, uh, all of us know that if we're using a div element, uh, it's always in the beginning uh, of any style sheet, it's act like display block. This is the default uh, user agent style sheet. But when you will use display with the keyword of initial, you don't get the block value. Instead, you're getting the inline value. Why is that? Every property in CSS have only one initial value. It doesn't matter if you use it on div element or a span element. It always acts uh, the same way. It doesn't look what HTML element. If you want to know what the initial value of every property, you search for it in the MDN of Mozilla, and you can see under the initial value, you can see what value you will get. The third value is the unset value. And here things get getting a lot more complicated. The unset value sometimes behave like the inherit value. And sometimes it acts like the initial value. How can you know if it's act like inherit or initial? In property that have inherit by default, it's act like inherit. In property that doesn't have uh, inherit by default, it acts like the initial value. But wait a minute, what the, what does it mean? Sometimes I put the unset value and it behaves like inherit and otherwise it's behaving like initial. How can I know? Let's talk about the two type of properties that we have in CSS. Inherit properties that are properties that have inherited by default and the uninherited properties, it's properties that doesn't have inherit by default. Let's begin in the first category, inherit properties. All the text properties, typography properties, these are properties that have inherited by default, like font size, color, font weight, line height, text shadow. How can we know if a property have inherited by default? We search for it in the MDN of Mozilla, and under the category of inherited, we can see the value of yes. This way, we know that this property have inherited by default. The second category of properties is the uninherited properties. It's all the other properties that aren't for typography or text, like the box model properties, padding, border, and margin, positions, display, transform, animation, and many, many more. In these properties, we don't have inherited by default, and we don't want them to be inherited by default. For example, if I have a parent element and I put it at a padding of 20 pixels, I don't want that the inner element will get the padding. It's not good for us in real life. And because of that, there is, it's making a lot of sense when I'm putting the unset value on a typography property like the color property for text, it's good that it, heavy, uh, it will be equal to inherit value. And if I put the unset uh, value for a display property that doesn't have inherited by default, it's good for us that it will act like initial value. But wait a minute. If the unset value sometimes behave like the initial value and other times it behaves like the inherit value, why do I need to use the unset value? I can just use, uh, use the initial or the inherit value. But the unset uh, value came along with a new property in CSS, the all property. The all property give you the possibility to reset all the properties together. And this way I can just write all and with the value of unset 
And it's reset all the typography uh, properties like font size and font weight to the inherit value. This is what we need. And all the other property that doesn't have inherit by default, it will reset them to the initial value. This is a very easy way and good way to reset all the properties of CSS in a click. It's very easy to use. And we still need to ask ourselves another question. Because when we're resetting a property like the display property, or with the initial value, or with the unset value, it reset the display property to inline, like I told you in the beginning. But wait a minute, I don't want to, res uh, to reset the display element for a div to an inline. I want to reset it to the block value. This is the basic style of the web browser. This, it isn't good for me to reset it to inline value. But, but what, I can do it? Wait a minute, there is another keyword value that we didn't talk about it. We have another revert value. Most of the web developers doesn't know that it exists. The revert value acts like you want it. When I will put for div element the display with the key value of revert, revert first look if there is any basic style sheet for this element, for example, the div. And if we have a, the default style of a display block in the user agent style sheet, the basic style sheet of the browser, it will use them. And if I'm using another property that doesn't have user agent style sheet in the browser, it will search in the user agent style sheet. And if it don't find any style, it will, st will still uh, look for the initial value. And this is the best way to reset all the styles in CSS. It's mean that instead of using the unset value, I can now use the revert value. And this way I'm resetting all the style to the basic style of the web browser. But wait a minute, let's talk about the browser support. The inherit value supporting all the browser, even in Internet Explorer from eight and above. The initial and the unset value supporting all main, main browser, but doesn't support Internet Explorer. But for 2020, this is amazing. And the last one, the revert value, lacking very support for most of the web browser. It's working only for Firefox and only on Safari. And it's mean that we'll still prefer until it gets better support to use the unset value. And that's it, my friend. If you want to know and ask questions, you can join the CSS class community on LinkedIn, Facebook, and follow us in Twitter. And if you want to follow my personal, you can follow my Twitter account, read all my articles in Medium, or see all my other talks in my own website. And thank you very much for listening.